number one in Central California. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live. And we're tracking breaking news from Clovis this morning. An overnight apartment has left one woman in critical condition and four police officers in the hospital. Yeah, Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos has been there all morning long. She now joins us live from the scene with details. Vanessa? The Clovis Fire Chief tells me that they are working to secure this side of the building. This is the south side of the complex. And as you can see behind me, there are about 22 units that have been evacuated. Now, they're working to get the power turned back on as well. Firefighters say they believe it started in that bottom unit right now, now where you can see them kind of standing there right now working on the investigation. One woman, the woman who lives in that unit, is in critical condition at the hospital. Four police officers who were first on scene are now being treated treated in the hospital for smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is still unknown. Firefighters say when they arrived, flames were shooting out of the front of that bottom unit to the above units. Now the upstairs neighbor is actually who called 911. Here's what he had to say about the scene. Uh, it was pretty bad. Like I, I heard the lady downstairs too. It sounded like she fell into the wall or you know, like fell on the ground really hard. Uh -huh. So I knew something was wrong. And yeah, I don't know, I'm still pretty shaken up. So. The fire broke out just before two this morning and spread to the four surrounding units. Neighbors say the elderly woman that was living inside of that bottom unit suffers from dementia. We are still waiting to hear back on her condition as well as the conditions of the police officers that are being treated for smoke inhalation. Now the perimeter on Barstow and Harvard has uh, has been removed, so it is open to traffic. I know there's a school across the street, so that will be cleared by that time. I'm going to send it back to you in studio. I'm in adjacent. All right, Vanessa, thank you for that live update. All right, right now we're going to get to our weather as we get a live look now at uh, downtown Fresno. Looking good on this uh, 1st of April and April Fool's Day. Rob Bradley joining us now with what we can expect on our forecast. Hey, Rob. Hey there, good morning. We're looking at another cool and clear start around the valley. Fog tracker staying nice and clear this morning. You shouldn't have any issues with your commute today, at least weather-wise. Uh, outside right now, temperatures mostly in the upper 50s, uh, excuse me, upper 40s and low 50s, with fog tracker staying nice and clear at 10 miles. Just about everywhere, Visalia visibility down to 9 miles, but that won't affect your commute very much. Satellite and radar is staying nice and clear as high pressure moves in from the north this morning. That's going to bring our temperatures up another 4 or 5 degrees this afternoon, with highs mostly in the mid-70s. But we're mostly still in the low to mid 40s right now, except in Fresno, Hanford, and Visalia. Low 50s there, 49 Lamore, 45 in Porterville and Madera. Merced, the cool spot at 42 degrees. We're mostly in the 50s through 9 o'clock before we hit the 60s at 10 a.m., with highs mostly in the mid 70s this afternoon with those mostly sunny skies sticking around, even up to 80 degrees today in Colinga. We're in the 80s through the weekend. We'll get a look at that weekend forecast coming up in 10 minutes. Jason, back to you. All right, Rob, sounds good. We have development news out of Fresno now. Two young men suspected in a hate crime against a Sikh man in December will now enter their pleas in court in just a little bit. 17-year-old Alexis Mendoza and 22-year-old Daniel Wilson face numerous charges accused of beating the 68-year-old man and hitting him with their car. The FBI worked with Fresno police to collect the evidence against the pair. Detectives believe the two targeted the victim because of his Middle Eastern appearance. Mendoza faces 13 years if convicted. Wilson faces up to eight years. A 17-year-old boy faces charges this morning, accused of stealing a car with a baby inside this week in Fresno County. The crime caught on camera at the Punjab Auto Repair at Belmont and Pleasant. Investigators say the 17-year-old was living at a group home in Fresno but recently ran away. Well, they say he pulled over after stealing the car and left the baby girl on the side of the road unharmed. The suspect was arrested in Dunlap earlier this week after someone spotted the stolen car. He's not being identified because of his age. City officials are investigating the water at some homes in northeast Fresno this morning for lead contamination. People living along Sharon Avenue say discolored water has been coming out of their faucets. They say the city has been giving them bottled water for the last 23 years when their homes were first brand new. City officials are now trying to figure out why the bottled water is being handed out and say there is just no official records of it. I can't find any paper that documents the terms in which we're providing water is this, so it's okay. City made that commitment to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change that right at this time until I understand why is the water turning red? Okay. Or discolored, I should say. I mean, why do you think the city decided to just give you bottled water? To keep us quiet, not to start nothing, you know, just to leave it, you know, make us happy, I guess. 
As part of the investigation, the city has tested more than 100 homes with metal pipes, and they found that about 30 of those homes had some sort of lead issue. Happening now, hundreds of airport workers in several big cities have walked off the job for today. That means if you have a flight, it could be delayed. Security officers, baggage handlers, and several others are protesting today in Seattle, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago. They're claiming unfair labor practices and demanding a $15 per hour pay rate. If you have a flight today, experts say you should call ahead to check for delays. And a teacher strike is underway this morning in Chicago, which means nearly half a million students have the day off. The teachers say today's walkout is aimed at getting Illinois lawmakers to fund education and other programs. They've been working without a contract since June and have been forced to give up concessions, they say, because of recent budget cuts. The strike is only for today, but the teachers are threatening a longer strike in a few weeks if nothing is done. Action news time now, 6.06. Still to come, what we're learning about a new Snoop Dogg button on YouTube after this bizarre video was released overnight. Plus, surprising your taste buds. We'll check in with Chef Shayna and her fun April Fool's Day recipe for chicken pot pie. But before we go, we're getting a live look at the North Valley. Here we are. Rob Bradley is straight ahead with your weekend forecast. Looking for a new ride? See over 200 used cars, trucks, and SUVs at MichaelAuto.com. Interest rates as low as 1.9%. 100 trade-ins and a large selection of factory certified pre-owned. Money back guarantee available on every unit in stock, plus a free Carfax. Get the right vehicle at the right price at Michael Chevrolet, Fresno's largest Chevrolet dealer. With over 200,000 satisfied customers since 1985. Find new roads. For the right vehicle at the right price, visit Michael today. Hi, I'm JR Gonzalez. What does it take to be the fastest growing dealer in the state? It takes an outstanding service and delivery department, knowledgeable and experienced sales consultants that listen to your needs, with a variety of financing programs and a huge selection of new and used homes, with three of the best lines of manufacturers that literally have hundreds of floor plans to fit any lifestyle and budget. We're prepared to do whatever it takes to earn your business, whatever. Coming up, Rob Bradley with the exclusive Storm 130 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. One out of every three doctors practicing in the Central San Joaquin Valley trained at UCSF Fresno. This program has produced hundreds of physicians. Great teaching, great opportunities. Far and away, the best thing that UCSF Fresno has to offer is the clinical training and yet really outstanding experience. My home is here now. I am here to stay. I'm here for good. UCSF Fresno, training physicians and providing outstanding patient care from obstetrics to geriatrics right here in the Valley. At Ashley Home Store, just look what $288 buys. Just $288 for each of these amazing styles. That's just $8 a month. Mark down this week only. Sofas, just $288. Only $8 per month. Recliners, now only $288. Queen beds as low as $288. Just $8 per month. And dining sets at $288 with three years no interest. Hurry in and look at what $288 buys. This week only. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Fresno, Visalia, Bakersfield. The Future Kia Certified Pre-Owned Sales Event continues at Future Kia of Clovis. Right now, we have 55 certified pre-owned Kias ready for immediate delivery. Like a 2013 Kia Soul for only $11,988 or a 2014 Kia Optima for just $13,988. Plus, 31 other makes and models in stock now. Visit Future Kia's brand new dealership today and see what the future looks like. Future Kia of Clovis Shaw Avenue, East of Fresno State or ClovisKia.com 24-7. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Jason Oliveira, and meteorologist Rob Bradley with the Storm Warn 30 forecast. All right, welcome back here to AM Live as we get you ready for the weekend here on this Friday, April Fool's Day, 10 minutes after 6. Everything looking good though, right? Yeah, things looking good the weekend. For the for the weekend. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the, the weekend's and that, looking that, good too. <laughs> and you know, that, that that's what that's what you're all about, right? That's <laughs> always what I'm about. Yeah, the weekend's looking great. Lots of sunshine as we head into the weekend. Uh, lots of low 80s on the way for your Saturday and Sunday, but we're still in the mid 70s uh, for this afternoon. Sunrise looking pretty right now from our downtown Fresno Skycam. 
Things are staying nice and clear. A couple of upper level clouds still drifting through the valley, but otherwise staying mostly sunny today. Temperatures right now in the low 50s. Dew points in the mid 40s with light winds out of the north. Those dew points, though, still seven degrees off from our temperature, which is why we're not seeing the fog form this morning. So staying a bit too dry for that fog to form. 42 degrees in Merced. That is the cool spot around the valley right now. Mid 40s in Madera and Porterville, but low 50s elsewhere. Fresno and Hanford at 52 degrees and Visalia, the warm spot this morning at 54, up 11 degrees from this time 24 hours ago. So when you're stepping out this morning in Visalia, you can likely lose a layer uh, from what you wore yesterday when you stepped outside. Up 7 degrees this morning in Hanford, up 2 degrees in Fresno. Wind speeds mostly staying light and variable at 3 to 5 miles an hour this morning. And your fog tracker still staying mostly clear. If I sell you the only spot with any reduced visibility, but it's at 9 miles. Should not affect your commute. Fog tracker develops a little bit of fog along the sleuth this morning, but doesn't bring visibility below 3 or 4 miles. So again, if you run into any fog, it should stay light. And very patchy, shouldn't affect your commute. Upper 60s at noon today, mid 70s. By the time we get to 4 o'clock this afternoon, your sunset at 723 this evening. We're right around 70 degrees at sunset, 60s, and then low 50s again overnight with upper 40s in a few spots. Lots of sunshine heading in for this Friday as high pressure moves in from our north, settles into the Great Basin tomorrow to bring us warmer temperatures. See a few clouds over the Sierra in the afternoon today, but uh, no rain expected in the Sierra today or tomorrow. Uh, some showers might be able to make their way into Northern California by the time we get to Sunday night and Monday. That'll bring us a few clouds as we head into Monday to help us cool down just a hair, but uh, still staying pretty warm. 76 degrees for Friday. We're at 80 tomorrow in Fresno, 81 on Sunday, with even some mid-80s possible in the middle of next week before we see some changes by next Thursday and Friday. We'll get a look at the extended forecast in about 10 minutes right now. Let's get a look at those roads again with CHP officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker. Take a look at your morning commute. Roadways are looking pretty good this morning. I do, however, have a crash in the Hanford area. This one's going to be on 14th Avenue and Jackson Avenue. We have a vehicle versus a tractor in that area. So please uh, be careful. Use some caution heading through there. Watch out for some slowing traffic. Moving out to a wide shot of the Fresno area, the 99, uh, 168, uh, 180, and 41 are in the green at this time. Currently no uh, crashes or hazards out in the Fresno area. Taking a live look outside, this is northbound 99 at Jensen Avenue. As you can see, traffic is moving at the speed limit through that area as well. That's a quick look at your traffic this morning. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please buckle those seatbelts each and every time you drive. Jason and Amanda, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Justin, sounds good. Of course, it's Friday, and that means we're talking food here once again on AM Live. And today we're having some fun on April Fool's Day. Yeah, Chef Shana from the Young Chefs Academy shows us a surprising twist on the chicken pot pie. April Fools is a great excuse to play with your food and today I'm going to share a recipe so you can trick your loved ones. We're going to make a chicken pot pie that's actually dessert. To begin you need a prepared pie crust. Go ahead and roll that out and you're going to use a mini muffin tin or ramekin here. Place that on top of your pie crust and cut an edge about a quarter inch bigger than the pie tin. To make our pot pie top look believable, you're gonna take the fork tines and make indentations around the edge. Next, cut in four vent holes and then brush on an egg wash. To cook our pie crust, crumple up tin foil into a ball and place it on a baking sheet. Add a layer of tin foil to make it smooth and place the pie crust on top. Put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. For the filling, you're going to need prepared vanilla pudding as well as six orange starburst, four yellow starburst, some green skittles, and a banana. Go ahead and scoop the pudding right into your pie tin. Unwrap the starbursts and put them on a plate. Place them in the microwave for 10 seconds to soften them up so you can mold them better. Go ahead and shape them into logs. The orange starbursts are going to become our carrots and the yellow starbursts are going to become the corn. For the potatoes, go ahead and slice up a banana and quarter it. Add that to the rest of the vegetables and stir it into your gravy. The last step is to add on the prepared pie crust. Now you have a nice dish ready to trick your family. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you back next week. All right, and you can find all of Chef Shana's recipes by going to abc30.com slash Chef Shana. All right, 614 right now coming up. The massage parlors busted in the South Valley after a prostitution sweep. Before that, though, the new mission for some locally based pilots. Why some members of the Air National Guard in Fresno are now in Europe. You can help kids and have fun bowling. 
Join ABC 30 and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central California at Bowl for Kids Sake. Choose from one of five different locations on five different dates. Support the cause that matches children with mentors. Don't worry, you don't have to be a pro. Go to abc30.com for more information. Join us and everyone wins. Soon all eyes will be on Rio, so rev up your style at the Mercedes-Benz of Fresno Rev It Up Rio Fashion Event, Saturday, April 23rd. A high fashion runway show and party. Enter at Mercedes-Benz of Fresno for a chance to win fashionable prizes, including a $2,000 shopping spree at select Fig Garden Village stores and a luxurious diamond pendant from the vault. Proceeds support the Fresno Art Museum and Valley Children's Healthcare. So rev it up Saturday, April 23rd. Purchase tickets and enter at Mercedes-Benz of Fresno. Shop all makes, models, and colors in your neighborhood, all with worry-free ownership. Head to your neighborhood enterprise car sales and let the people who buy more vehicles than anyone shift your thinking yes. about buying your next one. Mike Dermanuel Jr. of the Dermanuel Insurance Group. We have to add value, so we're providing resources, compliance, risk management, all the things that a business has to overcome. I think that the relationship with DMIG is based on value. It's the whole package of somebody learning our business, of being a partner, and doing this at a rate that frankly is below what anybody else has been able to propose. If a broker is not adding value, then they probably shouldn't be a broker. Learn more at DMIG.com. Look at this sweet face. So sweet. Okay, we're gonna need a napkin. Gooey, flaky, happy toaster strudel. I would kill for something sweet. Wanna split that? No. So much fat. Hmm? Don't fight your instincts. With 150 calories each, try our new rich and creamy cheesecakes. Fiber One. If you suffer with allergies, you know no two days feel the same. With full prescription strength Nasacor, even on your worst days, relief can be yours. You see, antihistamines target only one response your body has to allergens. Nasacort stops a broader range for more effective relief of your worst nasal allergy symptoms, including congestion, for 24 hours. And it's scent-free, alcohol-free, and has no harsh taste. Nasacort stops more of what makes you miserable. Guaranteed, or your money back. Happening now, a couple of fighter jets in Fresno are now on a mission in Europe. Two F-15Cs from the Fresno Air National Guard base took off yesterday to Iceland and the Netherlands. They'll conduct air surveillance and flight training exercises in support of Operation Atlantic Resolve. The two fighter jets will remain in Europe until September. All right, right now, every 10 minutes, we're talking weather, and Rob Bradley is cooking up an April Fool's Day forecast <laughs> for us. Now he joins us. What's going on, Rob? Well, we are looking at triple digits today. I already made that joke this morning. <laughs> We're going to be seeing another nice afternoon on this April Fool's Day, 1st of April. Taking a look from our Hume Lake webcam this morning. Things are looking good. Hume Lake's actually looking more like a lake these days, so that's some good news. The snow melting a little bit as we continue to warm up. Look at it, mid-70s this afternoon. Saw some low to mid-70s yesterday around the Valley. Lamore at 76, Fresno at 72. Expecting highs to warm up a few degrees this afternoon. 52 in Fresno this morning, 47 Sacramento, low to mid-50s along the coast to start the day with highs again making their way up to the mid 70s this afternoon 76 in fresno with mostly sunny skies up to 80 in colinga lamore at 78 degrees hanford at 77 light winds for the most part picking up out of the northwest towards the end of the afternoon today your foothill forecast is mostly in the upper 60s low 70s squaw valley at 76 though oakhurst overnight still in the mid 40s but for the most part the overnight lows getting a bit more mild in the upper 40s the low 50s in the foothills the sierra though still staying pretty chilly overnight upper 20s in sequoia national park down near 40 degrees, likely a little bit cooler than that overnight tonight, but uh, on the valley floor anyway, with uh, temperatures making their way up to the upper 60s this afternoon. If you're headed to the coast, things look great for the weekend. Mostly sunny skies, mid-60s in San Diego, low 70s Los Angeles, San Francisco at 62, with some patchy fog along the coast through the weekend as well. But otherwise, we're looking at lots of sunshine. High pressure moving into our north will continue to head this way, then slowly drift off to the south and east as we head into Saturday and Sunday. That high pressure is going to bring the warm air with it as we continue to see 
Uh, some of that warmer stuff move in from the south, and as it heads off to our south and east, it's going to continue to pump in those southerly to southwesterly winds, which will help to keep our temperatures in the low 80s all the way through Sunday before we have a chance to see a few more clouds on Monday morning to help us cool down a little bit. By the end of next week, we could see a subtropical storm system, which means a warmer storm system move in from the south and southwest, and that could bring us a good chance for some rain, but it would bring snow levels up extremely high, over 10,000 feet, so uh, most locations wouldn't see any new snow with that storm system, but we could still pick up some decent rain from it, hopefully, uh, if it continues to head this way. 80 degrees for your Saturday, 81 on Sunday, 79 on Monday, thanks to a few more clouds. Still in the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, with potential to hit the mid-80s by next Wednesday, and the clouds give us a chance to cool down a little bit by next Thursday. Uh, Jason and Amanda, back to you. All right, thanks, Rob. Still to come on Action News AM Live, why many people believe Yankee great Derek Jeter is returning to baseball. Also next, is Snoop Dogg really working for YouTube? Well, the new Snoop Dogg button that may or may not be a real thing. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. I'm sick of politicians like Clint Olivier. Who flip-flop on issues I care about. Olivier says he's for water. But on the Fresno City Council. He was the only vote against securing our water supply. And Olivier also flip-flopped on regulating abuse of payday lenders. I trust Dr. Joaquin Arambula. Dr. Arambula saved my life. And he's a son of the valley, so he will always fight for our water. Dr. Joaquin Arambula for Assembly. Vote April 5th. How did I get here? I studied day and night. I became an engineer. As the son of migrant farm workers, I was taught the value of hard work. But this is how I really got here. Your child's brain is more than 80% developed by age three. So from the moment they're born, talk, read, sing to them. It changes everything. Go to first5california.com. I remember my wedding. The celebration, the cake, the people, greatest day of my life. Last time I ever danced with Jim, though, I can't dance anymore. Not at this weight. It's not fair. I gotta make a change, like a real one. When I do, we'll dance the tango. <laughs> yeah, the tango. Make a real change. Go to riseabove.net to learn more today. Win a free car during Selma Auto Mall's You Pick Car Giveaway. Six models to choose from. You win, you pick. Go to SelmaCarGiveaway.com to register. Beginning February 16th through April 15, 2016. You'll have a chance to win a brand new free car of your choice. Earn additional entries by going to Selma Auto Mall. Register and see official rules for odds and other details at SelmaCarGiveaway.com. You win, you pick. SelmaCarGiveaway.com Introducing the fusion of exceptional taste with the benefits of our probiotic yogurt. New Activia Fruit Fusion with the exclusive probiotic Bifidus Regularis. Delicious and good for you. New Activia Fruit Fusion. Nothing seems to work. Your hair is still thinning. You may have inactive follicles. Reactivate them with Women's Rogaine Foam, the only once-a-day product proven to regrow new hairs up to 48% thicker. Revive your va va -voom and save on any Rogaine. We thought his involvement would be limited to a few recording sessions, but somehow, some way, he kept coming up with these groundbreaking ideas like every single day. When you add the double G, it becomes a greater. He was involved in everything from design to user testing. This technology is so immersive that sometimes, man, I forget if I'm in a video or real life. Now you'll see the world how I do. <laughs> this is making me laugh. New this morning, Snoop Dogg has. A new gig with YouTube is apparently helping them with a new virtual reality button that will let you watch the videos with Snoop with a new 360 video feature. And it's actually not true. Oh, really? Uh, Even with the bow tie, it was so convincing. <laughs> the video was released overnight as a prank for April Fool's Day. So happy April Fool's to all of you. What is Snoop Dogg doing, by the way? <laughs> I mean, is this the same guy like... You know, when he arrived on the scene when he was like 17, and uh, um, now this is him. I okay. like his bow tie. <laughs> All right, another April Fool's Day prank has a lot of Yankee fans uh, scratching their heads. Yeah, former uh, shortstop and future Hall of Famer Derek Jeter tweeted out this picture announcing that he has signed on to be a player coach with the team in Australia next season. Now, of course, Derek Jeter retired from baseball. 
And last night, many people weren't sure they actually thought this was a real thing because you see it was yesterday, so the day before April Fool's, but obviously in Australia, they're about a day ahead, so it actually came in on April Fool's in Australia. So but no, he's not coming back. It was just uh, all a, a prank. prank, yeah. I haven't pranked you at all today. I'm no, not, not yet, you. not yet. Well, we've <laughs> still got about 35 minutes here. All right, Action News time now, 625. In our next half hour, the South Valley prostitution sting and the massage parlors that were targeted. Also ahead, we have new details from the campaign trail and the panel of experts Donald Trump is set to announce later today. And we're following developing news out of Clovis. I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos live in Clovis, where an apartment fire has four police officers and one woman in the hospital. The latest details coming up. Thanks so much, Vanessa. But first, here's a look at this morning's Tech Bites. Well, hey there, and today's Tech Bytes, a serious upgrade to Siri. Apple's personal assistant can now better respond to statements like, I was raped and I'm being abused. A recent study showed responses were lacking. Now, Siri responds with a link to the National Sexual Assault Hotline. And this milestone from Apple, it's been exactly 40 years since two self-proclaimed nerds met in a garage and built a computer that would completely reshape our world. That was the Apple One, which led to the creation of the world's largest corporation, Apple Inc., and all the gadgets that have followed. And we now know what the Tesla Model 3 looks like and what the $35,000 ride can do, zero to 60 in less than six seconds. The Model 3 includes the autopilot accident avoidance feature found in other models and supercharging will be standard. But we gotta wait till next year. And get an extension cord. Those are your tech bites. High temperatures in the 80s on the way this weekend. The forecast on AM Live. The day after chemo, you could be home with your support system. Here, here, and here with Nulasta OnPro. Strong chemo can put you at risk for infection. In a key study, Nulasta reduced the risk of infection from 17% to 1%, a 94% decrease. Apply the day of chemo. Nulasta OnPro is designed to automatically deliver Nulasta the next day without returning to the doctor just for a Nulasta shot. Nulasta is for certain cancer patients receiving strong chemotherapy. Do not take Nulasta if you're allergic to Nulasta or Neupogen, Filgrastum. Ruptured spleen, sometimes fatal, as well as serious lung problems, allergic reactions, kidney injuries, and capillary leak syndrome have occurred. Report abdominal or shoulder tip pain, trouble breathing, or allergic reactions to your doctor right away. In patients with sickle cell disorders, serious, sometimes fatal crises can occur. The most common side effect is bone and muscle ache. Talk to your doctor about Nulasta OnPro began like this but it ended just hours ago like this i'm in shock the case everyone's been glued to now friday 2020 takes you as close as you can get was it murder or suicide you decide on a breaking new 2020 how fast are allegra gel caps they're rise and shine fast buddy's ready to go fast for allergy symptoms allegra is the fastest non-drowsy relief you can buy their fun shouldn't wait fast allegra gel caps not just fast allegra fast guaranteed or your money back your baby does more than just sleep and eat. Babies learn from the moment they are born. 80% of a baby's brain develops by the time he or she is three years old. That's why it's so important to talk, read, and sing to your babies and toddlers. Give them a good foundation before they start school. ABC 30, Valley Children's Hospital, the Fresno County Office of Education, and the Educational Employees Credit Union. Partners, putting children first. Strength is an addiction you can never get enough of. Now it's time to bring that strength to your tooth enamel. New Colgate Enamel Health Mineral Repair Toothpaste. It strengthens weakened enamel four times better by replenishing it with vital minerals. So smile with strength. With new Colgate Enamel Health Mineral Repair Toothpaste, smile with strength. ABC 30 Action News AM Live starts now with 15 minutes of non-stop news. And we're tracking breaking news from Clovis this morning. Four police officers are in the hospital after rescuing people from an overnight apartment fire. Yeah, Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos has been live all morning long. She now joins us live from the scene with the condition of those four officers. Vanessa? 
Amanda, Jason, we're still actually waiting to hear the condition of the woman and the four officers, but we have heard that the four officers suffered non-life-threatening injuries. They are being treated for smoke inhalation, but I am going to step out of the way to show you that construction crews have already gotten here. They are helping to board up the windows right now. Now, residents are still not back in their homes. The Clovis Fire Chief tells me they're working with pg &E to secure the south side of the complex. That's here where the fire started. Now, for now, all residents have been evacuated, and you can see that's about 22 units. And firefighters tell me they believe it started in that bottom unit that you see lit up right there. Uh, one woman in critical condition at this time in the hospital. Four police officers who were first on scene are in the hospital and being treated for smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire is still unknown. Firefighters say when they arrived, flames were shooting out of the front of that bottom unit to the above units. Now, the fire broke out just before two this morning and spread to four separate units. Neighbors say the elderly woman living inside the main unit suffers from dementia. One neighbor who was coming home at the time of the fire spoke with us. Here's what she had to say about what she came home to. To get everybody out, we just started busting windows and hitting the doors, and then the cops came. And we're like, it's right here, and I tried to kick the door that the smoke was coming out of, and I couldn't do it. So the cop came behind me, and he kicked it. Four units were completely damaged. When I spoke to Red Cross, they said they're assisting about six to eight families at this point, but that number could get even bigger. pg &E says the south side is being secured and they're working to get the power back on. As for the fire investigation underway, the cause is still unknown at this time, but they are working to get that cause. Um, and I'm going to send it back to you in studio. Amanda Jason. Yeah, Vanessa, why won't residents be able to go back inside their apartments? You know, I, I did ask PG&E that at this point, it's up to PG&E when they can get the building secured and the power back on. So they said they could be here the rest of the morning. All right. Thanks so much, Vanessa. Live for, for us this morning from Clovis. All right. And right now at 632, we're getting a live look at Old Town Clovis right now. This is our GE Clovis Appliance Skycam at 5th and Pulaski. Of course, we've got big hat days underway this week and let's now check in with Rob Bradley with a closer look at what you can expect if you head out there this weekend. Well there's going to be lots of sunshine so a hat might come in handy. It's also going to be feeling a little bit warm outside so maybe you get the one with the uh, the sprinkler on it right or maybe those that uh, the ones that carry the the beverages on top. 52 degrees in Fresno, 45 in Porterville this morning down to 42 in Merced. A little bit warmer than where we've started most of the week. The temperatures around the valley staying a bit more mild slightly above average. Wind speeds though staying light and variable this morning so no wind chill out there and your fog track is still staying nice and clear. A little bit of fog, fog closer to the coast, but on the valley floor, things are looking good. Shouldn't affect your commute this morning at all. Uh, lots of sunshine heading into the weekend as temperatures continue to warm up and high pressure continues to move in from the north. This will settle into the Great Basin tomorrow, drifting off to the south and east, continuing to bring in warmer air from the southwest as we head through Sunday. That's what's going to bring the temperatures up into the 80s this weekend. Still looking at mid-70s today, though, with lots of sunshine. 68 degrees at noon, 75 degrees at 4 o'clock. Your sunset around 723 this evening. But again, those temperatures warming up. We do have a chance for rain back in the forecast as well. We'll get a look at uh, both of those forecasts for your weekend and the extended forecast coming up in just a bit. Right now, let's get a look at the roads with CHP officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker. Take a look at your morning commute. Roadways are looking pretty good. I do have a crash up in the Madera area. This one's going to be southbound 99 at Avenue 20 and a half. Uh, we have a solo vehicle accident up there, so please uh, watch for emergency vehicles and watch for slowing traffic if you're heading through that area there. Moving up to a wide shot of the Merced area, the 99, 140, and 59 are in the green. Traffic moving smoothly through that part of the county. Taking a uh, live look back here in the Fresno area, this one's going to be uh, eastbound 180, just east of 1st Street. As you can see, traffic is moving at the speed limit through that part of Fresno. That's going to be a quick look at your traffic this morning. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol, reminding everyone to please limit those distractions and don't text and drive. Amanda and Jason, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Justin, sounds good. Investigators are trying to find the motive behind a deadly shooting that happened outside of a northeast Fresno church. A 17-year-old boy was shot to death yesterday outside of the church on Chestnut, just north of Ashland. Investigators say there was some sort of argument behind the church involving the teenager who was driving a black car. And then moments later, neighbors say they heard two to three gunshots. That's when witnesses say they saw the car then roll to a stop on the side of the road. First responders tried to save the boy's life, but he later died at the hospital. My neighbors have children, so it's kind of scary. There's a schoolyard across the street, too. 
The person who pulled the trigger was gone before police showed up. Investigators say at this point it's just too early to tell whether it was an incident involving drugs or gang related. Several investigations are now underway after a vehicle bypassed a security checkpoint at Naval Air Station Lemoore, ending in a deadly crash. It started after CHP tried to check on a Jeep Cherokee that was parked on the side of Highway 41. When officers approached it, well, it took off. Somehow the suspects got through a checkpoint on the west side of the Naval Base and crashed into a parked F-18 Super Hornet jet. Both people in the Jeep died. Regardless of procedures we have in place, uh, something went wrong and we had a tragic accident and we had some loss, you know, damage to an aircraft and we had two losses of life. And so we've got to figure out a way to prevent that from happening in the future. Meantime, commanders believe NAS Lemoore and the surrounding areas are safe. The identities of the two people have not been released. Also in the South Valley, a prostitution sweep has shut down several massage parlors in the area. As Action News reporter Christina Fan found out, even police officers were surprised by the illegal activity. Visalia police conducted this operation after receiving neighborhood complaints. They visited four massage parlors and they say all four were engaging in illegal activity. Enticing pictures decorate the windows of happy massage, but neighbors say the only ones happy are its customers. And the minute they came in here, it was just sketchy from the get-go. Sandy Maxwell works just a few doors down from the massage parlor. She says she started noticing suspicious activity almost immediately after the business moved in. All you see is gentlemen going in. They stop, they look around. It's like, we don't know what's going on. She called the cops numerous times. Those complaints paid off on Wednesday. Visalia police conducted compliance checks on four parlors. All of them were found to be engaging in prostitution. Four for four is a little surprising, um, but it's not all that uncommon. Officers arrested four women. In addition to Happy Massage, they worked at ABC Relaxing Station, Sunshine Massage, and Valley Serenity Massage. The owner of Valley Serenity was also cited for using unlicensed workers. I have families coming in here, and I, nobody wants to see that. We drove to all four businesses today. They had either shut down or they told us they weren't open. It's illegal no matter how you want to cut it or put a face on it. Maxwell says their behavior is ruining the reputation of legitimate businesses, businesses like hers. To see people that just want it for sex is just crazy. We, we need you know, the massage therapist to have a good name, not the ones that are fly by night. It is unclear when these businesses will be back open, but first they'll have to comply with city ordinances. Reporting in Visalia, Christina Fan, ABC 30 Action News. Well, from our Capitol Newsroom, a bill that will raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour is expected to be signed off by the Governor Brown on Monday. The state legislature passed a measure to raise the wage yesterday. Under the, plan, under the plan, a 50 cent increase would take place the next two years. After that, $1 increases would happen through 2022. Governor Brown says the hike would boost the state's economy. But people against the plan say it'll force businesses to cut thousands of jobs. Investigators in Virginia are trying to identify a gunman this morning who shot and killed a state trooper. Authorities say the shooter opened fire at a Greyhound bus station in Richmond yesterday. A 37-year-old trooper was killed. Two civilians were also shot but are expected to make a full recovery. The suspect died after two other troopers returned fire. Happening now, severe weather is racing through the south this morning. Tornadoes actually touched down in at least three states overnight. As ABC's Kendis Gibson explains, the powerful storms are now moving into Georgia and the Carolinas. Rolling through the south. Overnight in Alabama, sirens blaring, people taking cover, a tornado visible in the dark when the lightning flashes. Come on, take it the other way. In Mississippi, another tornado forming behind that house. The high winds toppling trees and power poles, damaging homes and buildings. A 16-year-old jumping in this truck to seek shelter when he says the high winds tossed the vehicle into a ditch. Rescue crews eventually pulling him to safety. That same system responsible for spawning violent weather in other southern states yesterday. There's the debris off of some roofs. I hope people are taking cover. At least six tornadoes, a trail of devastation and flash flooding. ABC's Steve Olsen-Sami in Jonesboro, Arkansas. 
Here's something else we're seeing. Roads like this one that have been washed away. You could fit a truck in here, and with more rain coming, more of this is much more likely. And now the severe weather setting its sights on the East Coast. Kendis Gibson, ABC News, New York. All right, welcome back here. 640 right now as we're getting a live look at downtown Visalia. Everything looking nice and clear yeah. on this April Fool's. Yeah, Rob Bradley tracking that forecast for us, and happy Friday, Rob. Happy Friday. Things are looking good outside as we head into the weekend. That's not a joke. Let's take a live look outside right now from our Valley Children's Hospital sky cam. A beautiful sunrise on the way. Sunrise in about four minutes time. So uh, if you get your cameras ready, take some good pictures. Don't forget to hashtag them with ABC 30 Insiders so we can share them on the air at midday. And we're looking at lots of sunshine today. A couple of upper level clouds, but aside from that, things are looking cool and clear this morning. Low 50s right down in Fresno. Light winds out of the north. Staying variable around the valley, mostly low 50s and mid 40s in a few spots. Merced, a lot chillier though, 42 degrees right now, more than 10 degrees cooler than Visalia. Fog tracker staying nice and clear though, we're still too dry for a lot of fog to form. And again, wind speeds staying light and variable across the valley for this morning. We're going to see some northwesterly winds pick up again later in the afternoon around 5 to 10 miles an hour with some gusts as we head past sunset. But only briefly and only for areas along the sleuth, uh, closer to the 5 quarter, seeing some gusts of 15 and 20 miles an hour. We'll see the same thing again tomorrow with mostly light winds for a good part of the day. Some breezy conditions developing again as we head past sunset on your Saturday. Air quality good across the valley floor. Madera the only spot in the moderate range today. Fresno was in the moderate category yesterday. Now back in the good category. How about that? Your bus stop forecast looks pretty good. 49 degrees, a little bit chilly to start. You might need a sweater early, but uh, you'll be able to lose that sweater pretty quickly. 65 degrees by the time you get to recess or lunchtime with mostly sunny skies. 74 degrees at 3 o'clock as you're leaving school and work today. And warmer temperatures, mid-70s this afternoon. Definitely t-shirt weather, uh, maybe some shorts. A satellite radar is showing you some low-level stratus covering the valley this morning, but it's not making its way to the valley floor because of our drier air on the valley floor. And that drier air sticks around with us as we head into the weekend. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog tomorrow as high pressure settles in a little bit closer to us to help keep the winds calmer, but otherwise just warming up. 76 degrees today in Fresno, upper 70s a good, uh, across a good part of the valley floor, up to 80 degrees in Colinga this afternoon. Northwesterly winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And in the foothills, a really nice weekend in store. 68 degrees Mariposa today, but otherwise low to mid-70s. 76 in Squaw Valley. Coors Gold at 72. Albury at 71. And in the Sierra, looks like a beautiful weekend to get outside. 69 degrees on the Yosemite Valley floor this afternoon with overnight lows still getting chilly, especially in Sequoia National Park. Upper 20 still overnight tonight into your Saturday. We'll get another look at your extended forecast in 10 minutes. Right now, let's go back to Jason and Amanda. All right, Rob, sounds good. We have new de details this morning from the campaign trail. In just a little while, Republican Donald Trump is expected to unveil the new group of foreign policy experts who will be advising him. Trump's campaign is trying hard this morning to move past controversial comments he made earlier this week about abortion. ABC's Megan Hughes is tracking new overnight details from Washington. Donald Trump giving a thumbs up after a Capitol Hill visit with the Republican National Committee. After publicly battling party leaders in the past, he told Fox. It was a very good meeting, They're very good people, very actually a terrific meeting, I think. And it's really a unity meeting. Trump also addressed his latest political firestorm. Did you misspeak or did you misunderstand the question? Well, or it could it... be that I misspoke. A rare admission stemming from his exchange during an MSNBC forum where he was asked about punishment if abortion were banned. There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Trump reversed himself within hours, saying women are actually victims. It's the doctors who should be punished. But it may have already done damage with female Republican voters. When I heard how he wanted to punish the women is not what we want. We want to draw the women in. Trump is struggling to win over women. Nearly three out of four female voters have an unfavorable opinion of him. And for Republican women, that number is skyrocketing, up 25 points in just a matter of months. Hillary Clinton using the exchange in her you, stump speech. Donald Trump is showing us exactly who he is, and we should believe him. His Republican opponents are also on the offensive. You can't, you can't operate like this. You're going to be president of the United States. People around the world are, must be having a field day. As for Trump's sit-down with party leaders, the RNC chairman says it wasn't a surprise meeting. It was planned before Trump's controversial comments. Megan Hughes, ABC News, Washington. All right, Action News time now, 644. Coming up next here on AM Live, why you may find yourself singing the next time you grab a can of Coke.
Plus, we're monitoring triple digital digit losses on Wall Street. The latest numbers for you in a live report from New York City. Discover a beautiful landscape while being water-wise. Belmont Nursery. We plan, you plant. Landscape design and consultation service. Our certified nursery pros have the knowledge and expertise to help you pick the California-friendly plant that will thrive in our water-conscious environment. Think of us as garden coaches. We'll help you save time, money, and water resources by getting the right plants in the right spot the first time. Belmont Nursery. We plan, you plant. On Belmont Avenue, just east of Temperance. Hi everyone, I'm Dwayne Peralta, President of Personal Express Insurance. We're excited about the opening of our newest location in Fresno. For over 30 years, Personal Express has been known here in the Central Valley for our low rates. But our customers also come with us and stay with us because of what we call our local advantage. I'd like to invite you to our newest location in the Fig Garden Village to find out just what the Personal Express local advantage means to you. Coming up, Rob Bradley with the exclusive Storm Storm 30 forecast, the fastest, most powerful weather tracking system in Central California. The Mark Matchup Final Countdown is on at Future Ford. Beat the buzzer to 2015 focuses for only $14,977 or choose 0% APR financing and a $2,000 factory rebate. Future Ford of Clovis Shaw Avenue, East of Fresno State or futurefordclovis.com. At Hillshire Farm, spice is the spice of life. That's why our craftsmen season every sausage perfectly, so you can coax out great flavor effortlessly. Hillshire Farm, because it's worth doing right. Brian Kenyon, disabled veteran and Sanger school teacher, uses a segue given to him by the DAV Charities thrift stores to stay active in his community. With your donations, the goods sold at our two Fresno locations can continue to provide services that improve Valley veterans' lives. Donating is easy. Simply schedule a pickup and our friendly staff will collect your donations. Visit DAVCharities.com to schedule your pickup today. After trying Brookside Chocolate, people talk about it online. Love at first taste. I would liquefy it and bathe in it. Curse you, Brookside. Your nefarious plans have succeeded. Nefarious? I mean, are we still talking about chocolate? Brookside, talk about delicious. The March Matchup Final Countdown is on at Future Ford. Beat the buzzer to 2016 F-150s for only $23,977 or choose 2.9% APR and a $2,800 factory rebate. Future Ford of Clovis Shaw Avenue, Easter Fresno State or futurefordclovis.com. This is ABC 30 Action News AM Live with Amanda Venegas, Jason Oliveira, and meteorologist Rob Bradley with the Storm Warn 30 forecast. All right, welcome back in business news now. Stocks are way down so far this morning on Wall Street. Mayor Bill Aber is live for us at the NASDAQ market sign in New York City monitoring those numbers. Good Friday morning, Mayor Bill. Good Friday morning, Amanda and Jason. That's true. Stocks are down at the open. You know, March jobs report out last hour shows another solid month for the labor market. 215,000 jobs were added and the unemployment rate ticked up 5%. Now, it's the first day of trading for the second quarter and we start with the Dow down 92 points, NASDAQ's down 24 and the S&P down 12. Finally, Tesla has unveiled a car a lot more people can afford. The new Model 3 starts at $35,000. It looks similar to the more expensive Model S, which can go from zero to 60 in less than six seconds and has a range of at least 215 miles. Even before Tesla revealed its new model, more than 115,000 people had already paid $1,000 to reserve one. The Model 3 will go on sale at the end of next year. And Coca-Cola is adding labels with song lyrics starting April 18th. Look for them on Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coke Zero and Coca-Cola Life. The campaign features songs like Lean On Me, I'm Proud to Be an American, and All I Do Is Win. Just in time with, um, you know what, America's soda consumption at a 30-year low. I will say this, Jason Amanda, it's an interesting strategy, but I like the whole name on the label campaign they did, but I never found Maribel. I, yeah. I do yeah. like that. And it, you know what's funny? Then you like you look for your name when you're like in the grocery yes. aisle or something. So that's kind of cool. It's easy to find Amanda and Jason. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, Maribel. We, yeah. I've never seen a Maribel. I've one, never though. seen one. <laughs> All right, Maribel. Thank you. Enjoy your yeah. thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Right now, uh, we're going to send things over to Rob Bradley, joining us now from the Stormwind 30 Center. What's going on, Rob?
Or it's looking like a fantastic weekend around the Central Valley, especially in the uh, Sierra, the foothills as well. Taking a look from the Iwani Meadow Cam this morning, you can see a little bit of fog there forming along the valley floor, but otherwise clear skies over the Sierra to start the day. We're still looking at an area of high pressure moving in from the north. It's really going to bring temperatures up as you head to Saturday and Sunday. Big hat days. You'll need a hat. Put some sunscreen on, too. The UV index is rising as we head towards uh, summer solstice in June. High pressure is going to slowly head this way, settling into the Great Basin tomorrow, eventually sliding off to the southeast as we head into Sunday. But it's going to bring in enough, uh, enough warm air out of the southwest to bring our temperatures up to the low to even mid-80s this weekend. That continues through Sunday afternoon before we start to see a few changes into early next week. See a weak storm system move by toward north on Monday to bring in a few more clouds. We warm up Tuesday, Wednesday before some clouds move in around this storm system that looks like it's going to slide right up into Southern California and Central California, possibly by Thursday and Friday to bring us more clouds. A slight like cooling trend and a chance for showers, possibly starting by late Thursday night. Right now, it's looking more likely we'll see that chance for showers beginning on Friday. And uh, some models predicting some very decent rain out of this storm system, up to around a half an inch to a quarter of an inch for a good part of the valley floor. So keep your fingers crossed. The only uh, caveat to that is the snow levels will be around 10,000 feet, if not higher, so not a lot of snow from that storm system. 80 degrees for your Saturday, 81 Sunday, back to the mid-80s Wednesday before we see those changes by next Thursday and Friday. Let's get another check on the roads this morning. Here's CHB officer Justin Montooth. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everyone. Let's go out to that live traffic tracker and take a look at your morning commute. I do have a crash from earlier in the Madera area. This one's going to be southbound 99 at Avenue 20 and a half. We have a uh, solo vehicle accident in that area, so please uh, be careful heading through there. Watch for slowing traffic uh, if you're heading out there. Uh, moving out to a wide shot of the Kings County, the 198, 41, and 46 are in the green at this time. Traffic is moving smoothly through that part of the valley. Taking a live look here in Fresno, this is eastbound 180, just east of 1st Street. As you can see, traffic is light and moving at speed limit through that part. That's a quick look at your traffic. I'm Officer Montooth with the California Highway Patrol. I want to remind everyone to please slow down for those school zones this morning. Amanda and Jason, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Justin, sounds good. 651 straight ahead here on AM Live. We have an update now on new details on that breaking news out of Clovis. We've been tracking for Yeah, we're live with overnight apartment with the overnight apartment fire that has now turned deadly, plus what we're learning about the four officers who were injured at the scene. It's the Tempur-Pedic Floor Model Savings Event going on now. Save 30, save 40, save up to 50% on select Tempur-Pedic Floor Models. They all must be sold immediately. Plus, no interest till January 2021 with equal payments. 30, 40, up to 50% savings on select Tempur-Pedic Floor Model mattresses. All sizes available. Twin, full, queen, and king. Even adjustable bases. It's going on now at your Tempur-Pedic Elite Retailer. Sleep more. Inside more furniture for less. Here is a look at tonight's primetime lineup on ABC 30. McCafe your day with a medium iced coffee for $1.99. Your baby does more than just sleep and eat. Babies learn from the moment they are born. 80% of a baby's brain develops by the time he or she is three years old. That's why it's so important to talk, read, and sing to your babies and toddlers. Give them a good foundation before they start school. ABC 30, Valley Children's Hospital, the Fresno County Office of Education, and the Educational Employees Credit Union. Partners, putting children first. String some lights, fire up the grill, connect with friends, and take 20% off a single item during the Block Party Weekend Sale. Throw the best party on your block when you celebrate the art of neighboring and saving at Orchard Supply Hardware. Winning is in full gear with Table Mountain Casino's $150,000 quads cash and prize giveaway. Play your favorite games to earn entries. Then join us Thursday nights to win a new set of wheels. You could win an adventure in a rugged off-road quad or a brand new Ram 1500 quad cab. It's going to be a wild ride of winning during the $150,000 quads cash and prize giveaway. Only at Table Mountain Casino. McCafe your day with a medium iced coffee for $1.99.
Breaking news from Clovis, we've just learned the woman who was in critical condition after an overnight apartment fire has now died. Action News reporter Vanessa Vasconcelos joins us now live with more on that victim and the four police officers who were injured. Vanessa. Amanda, Jason, I just spoke with the deputy fire chief who tells me that she did die at the hospital. Now, they're not releasing her name at this time because they're still trying to notify the family. Uh, but we did also check on the police officers. No update on them as of yet, but we have heard that they are being treated for smoke inhalation. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see crews are still working that fire. You can see investigators are just outside with uh, construction crews who are boarding up the windows and doors at this time. Residents still not back in the their homes. The Clovis Fire Chief tells me they're working with PG&E to secure the south side of this complex, which is this side. Now, for now, all residents have been evacuated, and that's about 22 units, as you can see right there. Firefighters say they believe it started in that bottom unit, and when they arrived, flames were just shooting out the front and reaching to the top floor. Now, one woman has died. Four police officers being treated for smoke inhalation. Now, the cause of the fire is still unknown, and firefighters say when uh, um, say they plan to be here all morning. Excuse me. The fire broke out just before two this morning and spread to four units that are completely destroyed. Neighbors inside say the elderly women living inside of that one unit suffers from dementia. And when I spoke to Red Cross, they also told me that they're assisting about six to eight families at this point, but they say that number could grow. And PG&E is working with fire crews to secure the area. They say it uh, it should be throughout the morning that they're going to be doing that. Amanda, Jason. All right, Vanessa, sounds good. Thank you for that update there. Um, covering that apartment complex fire in Clovis. Right now we're going to get one final check of our weather with Rob. Well, things are uh, warming up for the weekend. Look at the temperatures moving up of a good five or six degrees today and sunrise just coming up over the hills from our Valley Children's Hospital sky cam. Temperatures still a little bit cool outside, mid 40s to low 50s on the valley floor right now. 45 degrees in Porterville, Visalia, a bit warmer at 54. But mostly sunny conditions will continue today. Your fog tracker is nice and clear, so your commute should not be affected this morning. Upper 60s at noon, mid 70s at 4 o'clock with those mostly sunny skies continuing into the weekend. And highs in the low 80s for the first time in a long wow. time. Well, All right. change for this weekend. Warm All right, weekend. Yeah. All right. That does it for us. Good morning, America is next. All right. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you.